Undertaker, of course, long known as the best pure striker in all of WWE. He's not the type of competitor you want to get into a fist fight with. Even if that wasn't his reputation, I don't know that you want to get into a fist fight with a superstar the size of Taker. But yeah, you have to watch out for his strikes and just his heavy hitting offense in general. Yeah, Undertaker's combination of power and agility allows him to really pack a punch. Pun intended. And we'll see if he's ready to take on the absolutely demonic Leviathan. I don't know how anyone can take on an opponent like Leviathan. He goes for the cover. One count and he gets his shoulder up. A little too soon for that cover to be effective, but he is making a statement by going for it at this point. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. He'll take things into the ring. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Big clothesline. Kick to the gun. Oh, brutal. He retired with this smug out. Not to underestimate The Undertaker here, but you could argue that the key to this matchup is Brains versus Braun. We know that Taker has the power game on lock, which is why you should rarely, if ever, from the top. Seems there could be a game plan for Leviathan after all. And The Undertaker with that heavy hitting offense right now. Scott punch. This. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, the elbow connects. Constant pressure stacking on top of Leviathan here. The Undertaker cannot be stopped. Leviathan is going to look to press on the advantage. That could be the spark Leviathan is looking for.